which course is better to do after engineering in New Zealand to get a PR? The first step, which is to be a good international student, because if you do not uh, pass that course, then the rest of the things will not happen because you will not get your post-study work visa, and so everything else will collapse. It's like the domino effect. But as far as what course to choose, what you've got to do is look at continuing so something further in engineering, because uh, as you guys are aware, we have long-term skill shortage lists in New Zealand and engineering is absolutely on uh, one of those uh, uh, core uh, subject areas that where we are trying very very hard as a country to attract uh, uh, people young people to come and uh, join our engineering workforce and I think it is brilliant strategy from the government of New Zealand to introduce this post study work visa because not only do international students you know with a background like yourself in engineering come in with your ready skills uh, but you uh, invest money into our economy and into our international education sector. So you are boosting our uh, economy there. And then after you complete, you the, pick up your post-study work visa, start working, and then you pay taxes. So you're boosting our economy again. And then if you guys do find that relevant job uh, to your engineering, you will also go on to work in our engineering sector where we have a, a skill shortage. So again, you're boosting the economy. So I think it's a beautiful uh, give and take because what you guys are giving are your skills and what you take back in return is the ability to live and work and you know call yourself residents and citizens of New Zealand which is uh, absolutely one of the most amazing countries of